Up till about eight or nine years ago, I used to use a lot of niacin, actually slow-release niacin, in my practice to prevent uh, heart disease, coronary heart disease. But I stopped using it when it became clear that the strategies we used in the Wheat Belly Total Health and undoctored programs were much more effective with a lot less problems. So we add in, our, in my programs, we eliminate wheat and grains, all wheat and grains, and cap our net carb intake to no more than 15 grams net carbs per meal. We supplement vitamin D to achieve a 25 hydroxy vitamin D level of 60 to 70 nanograms per milliliter. We supplement fish oil, a therapeutic dose. Supplement iodine, achieve optimal thyroid status. Uh, supplement magnesium and make efforts to cultivate bowel flora. Well, I used to use niacin because it raised HDL and made HDL a larger particle and thereby presumptively more protective. It converted some small LDL particles that cause heart disease to large LDL particles. And it also reduced triglycerides modestly. Well, you know what? It did so, but had lots of problems. It also raised blood sugar substantially. It increased uric acid that leads to gout and uric acid kidney stones. And it also was associated with a peculiar effect of this hot, red hot flushing. It was very annoying to many people. But the Wheat Belly Total Health and Undoctored Strategies did all the same things. Raised HDL, made HDL larger, reduced small LDL, magnificently by the way, and reduced triglycerides and also reduced postprandial lipoproteins, after meal lipoproteins that niacin does not do. In other words, the effects achieved by these basic efforts were far superior to what we achieved with niacin with none of the problems. And we actually got lots of side benefits, not side effects. And so I found that if we did all the strategies in these programs, you don't need niacin. And even with lipoprotein A, lipoprotein A is a genetic pattern that is also reduced by niacin. I also found that if you follow the basic strategies of the Wheat Belly Total Health undoctored programs, that we could bring most uh, carotid and coronary disease to a halt, even in people with lipoprotein, without trying to reduce the lipoprotein with niacin. Bottom line, these strategies put together in the oddly named Wheat Belly Total Health and undoctored programs are far superior, far more effective than niacin ever was in achieving improvements in the factors that lead to heart disease with none of the problems. Now, if you like these kinds of ideas, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel or join my conversation in my Wheat Belly blog, my undoctored blog, and the Wheat Belly and undoctored social media.